Hey everyone, welcome to a bonus episode of the Dark Hour. Um, I reset my computer without making a save state, so I had to reload my save, which means I get to go through this again. Um, I was so lost in that conversation yesterday that I, I just, I feel like I need to do this again. <laughs> I'm, I don't know if I'm making this video for you or for me, but it's, I, I, I feel like I need this. This. Great scoring reaches save yeah. hands. That voice. My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea, and this experiment should have never even been conceived. Yeah. So, like, he's he's clearly blaming, putting the blame on his employer. That like this was broken before he even got to it. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. But if I hadn't. The entire world may have paid the price. Okay, so like he has to do something horrible, presumably like causing the Kirijo explosion ten years ago, but it's to prevent something worse, like the whole world going dark hour or whatever. The entire world. Please listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. Like, he says that, but, like, this experiment should never have been conceived. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. So he's like... He's, like, partially culpable, but it's clearly not all his fault. Huh? Dad? You mean... There's also a twist with this later. Um, Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. Yeah. They gave the orders. Like, he's... I He's still at fault for following the orders, but they did give the orders, so they are also very much at fault. So that means my dad caused it all? No. The Dark Hour, Tartarus, no. the people no. who died in that incident? I mean, I guess it was maybe. was all his fault? No, it was partially his fault. Uh, you okay? You seem like you're not understanding the dialogue. <sighs> so that's because you... No. I don't... Um... Uh. Will you go? I'm gonna pick a different dialogue option. Just let her be. Please. Alright. in him for so long okay okay so from from her perspective he did just say this was all my fault I was given the orders but like I consciously willingly and intentionally made this explosion happen killed a lot of people and created Tartarus in the dark hour oh, this is too much and and what I'm saying is sort of a, a higher level reading of it I guess that she doesn't emotionally Remember get Remember what the I moment. told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? Nobody Because he was in... We even had to move a few times. What did they do? Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. All right. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot. And I believed he'd never do anything wrong. Okay, so he he did do some things wrong. I don't think it was all his fault, but it was definitely in part, I received perhaps a in large in part, spring. his fault. It was from him. And that's what he's reacting written to. Written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my... That only made me believe... 
skipping through the dialogue. You want the dialogue? When I found Don't out I had a episode. special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared. That's why I agreed to. But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. Uh, I remember what dialogue I chose before. That's not true. <laughs> You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality have to be so harsh? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Okay, so here's the one where she blew up at me. I'm gonna say no you're not, this time. Before I said that's just how people are. Huh, well you're just Mr. Perfect. Nothing ever phases you. And now you've got the nerve to try and tell me how to feel? I, I guess that was the earlier dialogue option where I was like, come on, cheer up. But this, god, this still feels like it comes out of nowhere for me. You think you know me? You don't know anything! Like I said, it's... it's not your fault. And that's not... I'm sorry. I guess this is like a... I had some mess. Formless emotional outburst. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. Tell me. It's okay not to know. Huh? You know... But... Anyway... Let me guess. Se Came because I wanted to. Ooh, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, I think this decision might actually be impactful, so I'm gonna make the same one. <laughs> such an awkward... Hey! It's almost the dark hour, so you should get back. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Hmm? Um... <laughs> you and me both, Junpei. I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. See, this wasn't established before. I think this is actually a really important piece of information that we had not had verified. Because, like, when the main character comes to uh, Iwatodai, like, that's, that's the first time that he experiences the Dark Hour, right? I had thought that the Dark Hour was limited to, to this small geographical area, but apparently not. Well, duh. I don't know, maybe they talk about it tomorrow. You know, once you awake, it's like trade in exchange for power. Symbolically speaking. So. Yep. <laughs> now that that. Okay, well. There's that scene again. Thank you for joining me for whatever this was. <laughs> uh, 